Hi, I'm Malit Chachere and welcome to this special series of Earth from Space interviews on the European Space Agency Web TV. Thousands of people are currently debating possible political countermeasures to climate change at the COP21 summit in Paris. The UN Framework Convention on Climate Change has long recognized the need for global observations of so-called essential climate variables, which we at ESA are providing from satellite data within its climate change initiative. Some of the leading scientists on the essential climate variables have been kind enough to explain just what they're measuring within their project, why it's needed, and what it is good for. Let's go take a look. Yeah, soil moisture is very important because um, it influences many of the fluxes that are taking place at the land surface. It has an impact on the energy fluxes, uh, it has an impact on water flux, it has an impact on carbon fluxes, and this, this is why it has uh, an important role in the climate system. Uh, for example, if uh, the soil is very dry, the soil heats up more quickly, so a uh, soil moisture deficit can cause higher temperatures, so obviously affecting the people. On the other side, if the soil is too wet, uh, there will be uh, more quickly runoff, contributing to flood situations. We are preparing a soil moisture data set. Uh, we are deriving a very long-term data record by fusing data from active and passive microwave remote sensing data. Um, so we are combining data from about uh, 15 satellites um, and, and merge them into one consistent and harmonized data set. Um, we are pretty proud of it that we have been the first ones to really be able to uh, use so many satellites and combine them together. Uh, the challenges will be to integrate new satellites. There will be uh, there are experimental satellites that are uh, pushing the technology to the upper limits uh, to derive uh, better accuracy soil moisture products and to integrate them with the existing uh, data. Uh, that's one challenge on the uh, one side. And the other side, it will be the sustainability of the system because we need to have a system that can produce regular updates of soil moisture estimates because people are really interested if there's, for example, a drought situation or flood situation, uh, what does it mean uh, for them and to have these, uh, these data as quickly as possible.